going on chill with the ant squad it's your boy and back with you guys with another video so we're going to check out sukuna woke up cooking yuji and megumi get bodied by staying anti amen sukuna and jjk during season one i believe oh my god the amount of disrespect that sukuna did when he took over uh yuji's bot body oh my god was absolutely insane but the beating and the ass whooping that he gave to megumi Oh my god, let me tell you, that right there was possibly one of the worst beatings I have ever, ever seen, but you know for a fact, Sokuna, he is a he is the definition of a built different, I really kid you not, but I know for a fact this is going to be a really dope video, so enough with the chit chat, let's get down to business, appreciate all love support you guys have shown to the channel, if you're new to the channel, make sure you run the like, subscribe, all that good stuff, tap that post noti so you won't miss any of my videos, if you're a real chill with that supporter, I love you for it, and also, show some love to my second channel, it's called Ant on Anime, I'm going to be working on, on a video on Joppy Guest sometime either this week or possibly the beginning of May of May, so be on the lookout for that. I'll leave it down in the description box. And without further ado, let's get it. Sukuna starts glazing as Megumi Shikigami comes flying in from behind. But bro just start combo dodging using that Kobe footwork. All while his hands in his pockets just chilling for real. Looking real familiar. But Megumi rushes in as Sukuna hits a 360 block and we before blocking a kick and hitting us with this light skin face before making me start spamming square. Not connected once. Got this man begging for more. So Sukuna grabs his hand and they start playing ring around the rosy before stopping and looking deep into each other's eyes telling him try harder then he backhands the mess out of this man making him slide back judging by this little poll i put up a while back a decent amount of y'all wanted to see me cover Jujutsu kaisen one of the most hype animes i've probably ever seen since i started watching anime and don't worry demon slayer is on the way too for everybody who nice. wanted that anyway let's get to it we start out with seeing this strong cheekbone big nose telling yuji megumi and obara about this case they're about to work on and to sum it up he tell them no matter what y'all see in there do not fight and if you see a special grade go ahead and pack it up because gojo is not saving you nope. sending shivers down everybody's spine but potential okay. man so he starts telling them that their only mission is to go in there and save the survivors and count up everybody else until this random lady come up behind him yelling asking where's her son first of all what kind of whack security guards are these it's literally four of y'all y'all let her get this close now imagine somebody was pulling up on some bt and they just yeeted a grenade over there now all y'all getting fired and your wise leave. And most likely, <laughs> say goodbye to your, not only say goodbye to your, your job, say goodbye to that paycheck too. And you finna be listening to raw waves staring at the ceiling eating your third plate. But of course, Yuji yep. being Yuji, he about bust out in tears already. Broken just fell asleep in there or something. She starts bawling on the ground because she realizes her son is cooked. Well, no yep. grandkids for you. And then Itadori locks in getting the seal of approval from the game. So they start walking in and here we go. Megami brings out his demon dog as a security guard. And, we and you should know when it comes to you, Yuji, the one thing that he loves doing is saving people. If you know, you know. Finally start to go inside the building. As soon as they start running inside, they stop. Because the inside just like a ghetto version of the infinity castle from Demon Slayer. Until Megami Facts. realizes it's a domain and that the door they just came in is gone. Leaving them trapped alone so they start walking through until they eventually get into this room just to see some dude propped up against the wall missing okay. half his body looking like that thick npc from spongebob Yuji goes up and realizes okay. that's the son of the woman from earlier but bro look like he pushing 30 like dog what are you doing in juvie you need to be in prison so then megami storms over snatching this up by his hoodie side telling Yuji to just leave him alone because he ain't coming here to save that anyway then itadori grabs his collar so we get this freaky ass frame of them just standing there grabbing each other's necks on some kinky stuff that i am not ready for but then they show us his record and bro look this is at least 35 dog lock him up and then he said that he murked a whole little girl driving around without a license so let me reiterate this man look about 35 is a literal body catcher but they got him locked up with a bunch of little middle and high schoolers anyway nobara oh, pulls up hell. spazzing on him before just falling through the ground so making me gets confused because his dog was supposed to be able to sense any curses but that got turned into a trophy with his head on the wall like a deer. Made me get shook and start saying that they gotta leave before boom, we get jump scared into a flimmy by this ugly ass curse standing there like he in JoJo's with his mouth wide as hell. And bro, are those supposed to be his eyes? I didn't even think dog could get ugly. He realizes it's a special grade and now the boys is frozen in shock. But eventually, Yuji's able to shake and tremble his way into grabbing his little machete, going for his neck. But, uh, yeah, that joke did not work. Bro starts looking at his hand in shock, just dripping hot sauce everywhere. He starts taking his belt off like he finna whoop, bro, before he starts wrapping up his, um, wrist to stop the leakage. All while this creature back there emoting like he already got the victory royale screen. And this is when Yuji calls out the man of the hour asking for help. But Sukuna's pretty much like, bro, 
I got 18 other fingers out there. If you get murked, I could not care less. Damn. But if you do switch with me, I'm murking the hell out of Megumi. Me. And I'm gonna go have fun with that girl you with too. You know I like oh them God. rambunctious ones. Hey, Until yo. the spirit charge up a crazy loogie shooting in between them, destroying everything in its path. Getting Megumi shook again. This man is not built for this. While bro still back there tweaking. Yuji snaps him out his little days and tells him to get no borrow and dip because he about to switch to Sukuna. All while the spirit over here showing off his impeccable flexibility he having the time of his life. Eventually, Megami runs away to find her while we go back to see this freak spirit over here taking his pants off, trying to show off his quads and strong nice. ass kneecaps. So Yuji starts stressing, not knowing what this thing is about to do to him, before Broji get blown away smacking into a wall and now look at him. Slump. He starts recovering just to look up and see this dude charging up a devious ass punch, connecting and sending him busting through the wall and flying through the air, hitting six cartwheels before bouncing on the ground hard as hell, getting mad hang time, looking like MJ. And now look at him again. Slump. But I want to go back and show y'all how bro is looking in the air. Boy looking stiff as hell like a mannequin. And bro, what is going on with your neck? This man can't even turn side to side. He's stuck looking up and down. Anyways, and the spirit pop in charging up, waking up Yuji. So then he gets up and hits us with this. No way, this man just got blasted into and through a wall. And then out of all things, proceeds to do this. Bro finna be sitting there fighting for his life and just like this man. So he blasts off the attack while standing like somebody finna put him in an AMV as Yuji just stands there. But bro not getting blown back this time. So his defense gotta be working. Right? Psych. Damn. Now bro back here stuck in the wall again. Depressed. With no fingertips. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie bro. Just pack it up. It's over. You had a Thanks. good career. But it wasn't a great one. But I Damn. guess he got some dog. He starts standing up. Oh. Never mind. He's crying now. And he's trying to cover his face with his last four knuckles and one wrist. Like, bro, give it up. This is just like how Brown was looking when he was brushing the melanin off his scalp. I know he got home and had the family like... <laughs> but in a typical Shonen MC fashion, he turns that sadness into a power-up. And with the look at that. Is that a black flash I see? Congratulations, Mr. Itadori. And it only took 10 fingernails, one wrist, 10 knuckles, and now you can't do this. Definitely worth it. But he starts running in slow motion with this inspirational-ass music playing before cocking back a punch swinging and man look at that form that joke got caught though bro thought he was in a disney movie that joke do not work over here but then he hears the howl from making me's demon dog signaling that they're out of the building so now the man we've been waiting for bro know what time it is too he looking hella scared so can a pass little bro on the shoulder as he stands there terrified so now he starts plotting the 2v1 Megami. me bro over here crashing out spazzing he starts charging up another attack Look at him, dog. You gotta be the ugliest. So Sukuna pulls out the Yuji defense. It's a bitch shit actually worked. So now we gotta look at this. Anyway, Sukuna realizes the spirit can't leave. So that little 2v1 plan is cooked. So he pushes up on bro's head and slam him into the ground before walking up and standing over him while he down there making concrete snow angels. So Sukuna charges up a moon stomp that collapses the whole bridge. But as they're falling, the spirit grabs his ankle and starts twirling him around. But Sukuna ends up just chilling on a rock, holding this dude's whole arm before laughing maniacally as the spirit falls into the water on the way to go meet up with Rico. But then Sukuna starts talking about how they're both special grades. But I'm watching like, hmm, I wonder how he's talking to this dude when well, he should be down there finding Nemo right now. So we see this dude plaster onto the wall like a poster with all his limbs detached from his body meat just there slinking oh hey, no nah, this is sukin is on timing but the spirit is not giving up he start crawling out the wall regenerating and sukin get hyped bro ain't got no action since gojo violated him so he hops down oh, and starts yeah. smiling like he actually about to do so so sukin pulls his hand out of his pockets unlike darvin him and I, I ain't gonna lie that fight with him and gojo yeah that man Gojo did Sukuna so damn dirty in the fact he sat on the nigga too. Oh no, that's disrespectful on a whole nother level. I'm like, oh yeah, he finna throw hands now. It's over. So this man says domain expansion. As he appears in the Evelyn Shrine looking clean. But my first time watching it, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. New map unlocked. But like what the fuck is the point? To bro just get sliced in a hella pieces, leaking grape juice. Like, bro, what happened? Then Sukuna starts his chest what ironically you pulling out a finger before walking away as you see the spirit all cut up into like 17 pieces frozen in the air before literally incinerating as sukuna realizes that this is his body now so we go back outside and see megami as he realizes that the domain in the building is gone so he start waiting for yuji until bro is just back there chilling so he starts explaining how itadori is struggling to switch back as he starts stripping showing off his six pack and tats all he needs is some dreads and a hellcat and he gonna be unstoppable and so he oh, proceeds God. to go inside his body and yanks his own heart out getting oh spaghetti God. sauce everywhere and just yeeting it into the grass so that 
Yuji switched back, Broko already being the portal to the nether. Then he pops a finger with the immaculate form, bro been watching the film. So Megami squares up already knowing what time it is. But you are not fooling me, buddy. I see no. hand over there quivering. Eventually though, he's able to force himself to bring out his Shikigami. And he starts running towards Sukuna, going for a kick. Tries to get a two-piece in, then gets weak by four more times before getting a kick in. Sukuna starts glazing as Megami's Shikigami comes flying in from behind. But bro just start combo dodging using that Kobe footwork. While his hands in his pockets just chilling for real, looking real familiar. But Megami rushes in as Sukuna hits a 360 block and weave before blocking a kick and hits just with this light skin face before Megami starts spamming square. Not connected once, got this man begging for more. So Sukuna grabs his hand and they start playing ring around the rosy before stopping and looking deep into each other's eyes, telling him, Try harder. Then he backhands the mess out of this man, making him slide back. So Megami brings out the Orochimaru special, taking Sukuna up on a trip through the sky. And they just start jumping this man, taking turns on his ass. But this man is just smiling and enjoying the whole thing. For popping the snake and appearing behind Megami, gripping the mess out of his back knee. And just yeeting this man all the way across the forest and through the city. As he follows it up, kicking the emo out of this man, sending him bouncing, building to building. And I just look at him. Helpless. So you know what comes next? This man Sukuna comes out of nowhere, punching this man through a building in like six pillars before his owl is able to come scoop him up out the air. But I want to go back and show y'all just how crazy that impact was. He had this man making me looking like a greater than sign. That's just too disrespectful. So he's flying yep. away and I'm like, dang bro. I'm surprised you still conscious, but at least you safe now. Just for Sukuna to pop up, go double action in this man through another building, completely destroying it. Out here looking like the Avengers in New York. Before we go Thanks. in and see him post it up against the arrow, looking like he finna post this on IG. Like he the one that's been putting in work so far. But he don't know what the hell to do now. But he releases a new way and they start having flashbacks. And that can only mean two things. Either bro finna get sent to his dad or he unlocking Sukuna. Those are the only two options. So we yep. see him start charging up, maybe doing a little something, who knows? And that gets Sukuna a little too hype. It's crazy how these villains really only live to throw hands. Don't want no yep. money, no cheeks, no family, just straight chaos. Anyway, nice. make me start getting ready, sounding like he finna do something crazy before stopping to explain why he saved Yuji the day that they met. I guess giving Yuji the strength to take his body back. And now he's just standing there talking like nothing happened. So wholesome, right? But as far as I remember, I definitely saw a very vital organ get tossed in the grass. And the yep. last time I saw that was with this man. And that did not turn out too well. But oh either do it eventually secrete some liquid. Bro. Yo, that that part right there of the fact at Hunter X Hunter when Killua did to that prisoner, ripping his heart heart out, oh nah, that shit was cold. Quit before falling over, leaving Megan me standing there. Yep. Alone. Yep, and just like that, y'all, that's gonna do it for this video of the fact that Yuji and Megami, they got violated so bad, but Megami got violated the worst of the fact that he really legit, Sukuna really ripped, ripped off his own, ripped, uh, Yuji's heart out so that way he won't transform back to his normal self. Then next thing you know, beating him so freaking much, and the fact of the matter is playing ping pong with the nigga to make sure... That he, yo, I kid you not, this man Sukuna, he violated making me so freaking bad. I kid, kid you not, but the fact that Sukuna ripped out the heart, that was disrespectful to a whole nother level. But I ain't gonna lie, W, w vid, video, shout out to you, uh, staying in time for this. But comment down below, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate the time, I love y'all so much for showing love and support to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, you already know what to do. Run up the like, subscribe, tap the bell so you don't miss any video that I post, all that good stuff. And also, show some love to my second channel, it's called Ant on Anime. I will leave it down in the description box. I'm gonna be doing a video sometime uh, this week coming, so be on the lookout for it. So, I appreciate the time. I love y'all. Rose 1K's up and stuck. Peace.